ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the tutorial video of how to do small oil rig with only a bow. All right, now here's what you need. You need a uh, hazy or equivalent, so this can be like leather armor, wolf heady, you know, something like that. You don't need full metal or anything, just as you'll do. You need a full diving set. You need a little bit of low grade. You need cloth, uh, you know, a, an appropriate amount. Binoculars, really good to have. Not necessary, but really good to have. A tool to chop up bodies um, and hit barrels. This could be a bone knife. And then I have two compound bows, the most important weapon we're going to be using today. And I have a stack of arrows and a little bit more. You have blue card, you have red card, and then I have a regular bow as well. And this is important for resetting aggro, we'll talk about that later. The last thing that I that you really have to have to do this strategy is a boat or a submarine. You have to have some kind of water vessel. Uh, a boogie board is not enough. You need a boat or a submarine, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and ride out to the rig and I'll see you when I get there. All right, now we're at rig. We made it. All right, I'm going to use my binoculars to scope the place out. And let's see, there's a dock scientist. Okay, there's a boat. There's two scientists on this level. That's really important to know. Seems like a lot of scientists. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, um, all right. So really, I'm just going to pull up and get close. Right now, I'm like looking for other people. You can also use your binoculars to look down in the water. And you can see people are swimming. You'll have a little dot over their head. It looks pretty clear from here. And so I'm going to pull up a little bit closer and start taking shots with the compound bow. We want to do as much damage as we can before uh, we get on. I think here's probably good. All right. Um, now, I'm not going to shoot the dog scientist. We'll talk about that a little later. I want to leave him forever as long as I can, okay? Uh, he is our detection system. We're just going to hit as many scientists, do as much damage as we can, make it easier on ourselves. Oh, well, no, no. Sometimes we do. Ooh. Now, every rig is different. Um, scientists are going to act different on different servers. Sometimes they're glitched. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes there's a bunch on this uh, floor one. Sometimes there's a bunch on floor three. It just really, every server is kind of different. Um, so, you know, take everything I'm saying in this video and use it as like a, a rough guide. I can't tell you how exactly how it's going to be on your server. But a lot of these things you'll be able to use on rig no matter, you know, what server you're on. Um, something you need to know about the compound bow, it was changed recently to where if you hold it down on the max pull for long, it starts to, the durability goes down really fast. So you want to try to like let loose the arrow as soon as you get to max. Uh, that's why I've actually brought two compound bows. If you're newer to the game, maybe you bring three. Um, you know, if you're having trouble with that, that's fine. Just bring another compound bow than you normally would. Alright, I think that's enough, um, maybe take one, two more shots, and, uh, you know, there's no, like, real rhyme or reason here, we're down to 39 arrows, so I've shot, like, 30, let's, um, let's do it there, okay, now, really important here, do not take your boat into oil, you're gonna leave your boat, like, right about here, not in front of the dock, not in front of the ladder, we're gonna leave it about right here. There's two ways up. You can do the normal way, which would be go to the dock, but you'd have to fight that scientist and go up this way. Or there's actually a big ladder on this pole here that'll render in once I get a little closer. We're gonna use that to get onto rig. The reason we're leaving the dock scientist here is so that when uh, people swim or other boats come, we'll have an early kind of warning detection system for uh, counters on the bottom that'll let us know when people get close. So switch into your diving gear and swim kind of this way. Now, the ladder is going to be right here. It's about to render in. And we're going to use this ladder to go up and down. Leaving our boat out here is really important, and you'll see later why. All right. Um, so, a scientist on, is close on the dock side, so I'm going to chill for a second, wait till he passes over a little further. Yeah, that's good. Fuck it. As I'm getting close, I'm going to switch into Hazzy. And I'm going to make the jump, and then go up the ladder. We're going to take some shots. Okay. 
it's worth it. And we got some heels. My cat's in the way. Excuse me, buddy. All right. Now, it's likely that you will find a gun on oil, whether through a scientist or a box or something like that. You should use it if you get it, but to stay true to this video, I'm not going to use it in this scenario. Just so you can see, you know, if you didn't get a gun, how would it be like, all right? This is a really good spot on the edge of this. When they walk out here, you can shoot them from right here, and then you can move. He's gonna hide for a second and pop back out. And he's done. So I pulled two, I believe. So I'm cool with that. We'll see what happens. Multiple are running, so I may have to dip, but we're gonna try it anyway. Come on. Oh, man. what a timing. If I just hit him, he's gonna go back and hide. But if you miss that shot, you're gonna need to probably jump off and swim. That's why we brought the diving kits. Don't feel ashamed for doing that. We miss, so he's gonna push. Now I should go back because I hit him. But you can see we're 60 HP right now. I'm gonna go ahead and charge a shot. Hopefully, we'll the last one for him. All right, he's down. Now, really quickly, I'm listening to see if any more are running. I don't hear any more running, so I think we're cool. We can stay on for now. But if I ever get in trouble, I'm just gonna jump right off this side. Be careful not to hit the pole in the center. Just right there. Can I jump to this side or that side? Kind of looking both ways when I go. Okay, definitely use the meds. That's good. Now, pay attention that you can see through this grate right here of the floor. You can also see through the next one. Uh, this is really useful to seeing where people are when you're fighting, but also where scientists are pathing. So as I'm as I'm coming up here, I'm looking right here because I know they path right here, and I'm looking right there because that's where they would path. Okay. I don't see many. So just, oh, he got me. Now that guy's gonna push, so I'm gonna hop down here. And we're gonna watch him come around, just so you guys can kind of see him coming around. See him right there. Okay, I know he's coming, so I'm gonna stop healing. Go ahead and charge a shot for him. We hit a headshot, so we need to hit one. I believe it's headshot and one arrow. One headshot, full charge, then plus one arrow of any kind. Oh, that hurt a lot. Okay, we're going to have to use one of our meds here. But if I had multiple pushing me here, I might I might jump in. Kind of, you got to play it by ear. Don't, like, don't be afraid to jump off and heal on your boat. That's why the boat's there. Like, it's so much better to just jump off rig once and heal than have to come back all the way to rig from your base. Don't do that walk of shame if you can help it. Alright, that feels better. Now, if you didn't have a hazmat, there's one. Make sure you pick up your arrows because we are running a little low. Going up to check. Did that one see me? I don't think so. I'm listening and I don't hear him running. So I think we're cool. I'm getting a lot of bullets, but no guns. Keep the bullets in case you do get a gun. All right. Now I'm going to peek this side by the barrels, but I'm not going to peek far. I'm just going to kind of look. He is running at me. So instead of running all the way stairs, I'm actually going to go this height and go down. And then come down here and charge a shot for him. Nice. See that damage we did before we even got on rig is paying off here. And we got another med. Cool. Now, I'm trying to save the meds as many as I can for heavies because normal scientists, they're kind of easy to take the compound boat, right? The heavies is a whole nother matter, my friend. Uh, we don't really need this loot right now, but obviously, you would probably keep it. You know, check the boxes. Maybe get a gun. We don't need that, though. All right. Now, I think the first most important thing to do is make sure a scientist isn't peeking here. Run past that first stairwell and clear the rest of this level two. Okay, I don't see any more scientists. Okay, so this level's clear. It's really important to clear off each level because if a scientist pushes you from behind when you're fighting another, you're probably gonna die. And keep in mind, at any point that I feel like I'm pushed 
or I think I might die, or I get like below 40 health, I'm gonna just jump off in the water and swim to my boat. Thank you. Okay. All right, now to check this next stairwell, I'm just gonna come over the stairwell about halfway and jump. Make sure one's not behind me. If it was, it would aggro and then I can run back. But since it looks like we're okay right now. And then rather than going up the next stairwell, I'm actually gonna go back this way. I'm gonna clear this side. Looks clear. Yep. You know, loot the boxes, see if you get any goods. We don't have any goods, but you know, it's okay. Soft peak on this side. That looks good. Okay. Now we're on level three. We've cleared level three. We've cleared level two. We've cleared level one. But there's still a few scientists up top. So I'm using the grate. I see this guy's here. And I'm also listening to their pathing. So it sounds like one's over here. So I think he's behind this pillar. I'm gonna charge up a shot. And then I'm running. This is gonna be your most popular hold spot for heavies and clearing top floor sciences. Stairwell's so good. Before I push, I'm making sure no more are running. Sounds okay? All right. Another one's close. So instead of going to get that body, I'm actually gonna run down. Do the same exact thing I did. Come right here and wait till I hear him walking. I'm not sure why he's not dead. I'm keeping a fucking buck with you. I don't know why he's not dead. But he's dead now. Ooh, we got a better tool. I hear one pathing around over here. He's a goner. I'm listening and I'm just getting visual. At any point I could fall down this and I'm back to my safe spot. He's pathing on the same direction, so we're gonna do the same move. Charge here, crouched. Pop up from the crouch. I missed. God damn. Okay, uh well, I'm gonna run. Rather be safe than sorry. This barrels are a really good spot. All right, he's done. So we've cleared off all the top level scientists, I think. But before, I'm just going to hop up here again and look. Listen. Sounds clear. Did we get a gun? No gun. Airdrop, that's cool. If you're calling an airdrop an oil, you definitely always want to call it in between these three stacks of pipes. Right here is good. If not, you risk it falling off one of the sides or the front of the back. Now, really quickly, I'm just going to run around and, like we talked about, the other levels clear, right? You want to make sure everything, there's not a secret scientist glitched or one hiding around that could surprise you later. looks pretty clear to me now i'm gonna look through this window in the blue room to check how many scientists are in here i only see one there can be up to three so you know you play accordingly i'm gonna slap this and i'm gonna run back to my barrels and charge crouched you should walk out any second See, every oil rig's different. Some, usually they would walk out. He hasn't walked out. So I can get a nice angle right here. Alright, he's a goner. Now, honestly, if I would have found an airdrop in a milli crate before I caught in heavies and I only had bows, I would wait for the airdrop to come down because it's probably going to give me a gun. But since we're sticking true to the tutorial, we don't want to cheat. We're not going to use a gun even if we find one. Probably a gun in this milli crate. We didn't get lucky. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright. So far, we've done really well. We haven't had to jump off at all. The last time I actually recorded this, I had to jump off about 12 times. Just because the scientists pushed me in weird times. Like, three of them pushed me at a time. So, I want you to understand this is a really clean take. My last recording of this was not clean at all. So... Do not be afraid to jump off and use your boat. You're going to see me do that with heavies, but it can happen with normal scientists as well. It's so much better 
to jump off, swim to your boat, heal up, do some more damage from the boat. If a scientist is glitched down low or you can see him from your boat and shoot him from the boat like we did at the beginning, then it is to spawn back at base, swim the fuck out here or with a boat or whatever and do that walk of shame. All right? If you're watching this, you're probably new to the game. You're a bit of a noob. Be a fucking noob. It's all good. All right. Now, using my red card, I'm going to slap open this thing and call the heavies. Actually, before we do that, let's talk about positions. Now, heavies can be glitched to where they all stand up on the helipad, and you can just easily kill them from the barrels. Pew, 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 pew. Like 100 times, and they're all dead without really taking much damage or risk. I know on this server, they're not glitched. So all six heavies that come on Smoil Rig when you call, there's six heavies that show up. They all path around on this top level. On some servers, one paths down onto level three and can really surprise you if you're not paying attention. So you need to be, play really careful until you are sure there's not one pathing on level three. Because if we're standing here fighting heavies, right? Pew, 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 pew. And then one pulls up on our back and we're easy dead. So easily dead, just like that, okay? Um, so let's talk about positions. If all heavies are acting normal, they're gonna path, uh, two are gonna walk in front of the stairwell. So we can aggro them one at a time from standing down here without ever risking anything else, okay? <clears throat> so for those first two, my hold spot's gonna be here. Pew, I'm gonna get a hit, or I may not get a hit, maybe I miss, and I run back to the barrels, okay? The barrels are your god spot, honestly. Try to do some damage here again. Depending on how many shots you hit, if you hit a lot, you can use this crate as well, but this is like a do or die position, right? If you don't kill him in this shot, you probably need to jump off because if you turn to go down here, you're gonna die. Now let's say maybe he's hot on your heels or you don't wanna use that crate that I just showed you. You can run and jump off here using this pipe, hit that pipe and then fall down. If you hit the pipe and fall down, you won't take uh, fall damage or bleeding, so your meds will continue to heal you. But if you don't hit that pipe and you fall to this floor, you will take damage, okay? And then you can use the spot we were taking regular scientists with right here. Again, this is kind of a do or die spot though. If you don't finish the heavy right here, you probably need to jump off right here, okay? You can't go down on this level, the catwalk, because the other scientists can shoot you from the dock. Keep in mind, any swimmers that try to counter you on this dock or using the regular, uh, excuse me, this ladder or that ladder, the scientist will let you know. All right, that's why we left them there. But it kind of uh, removes the option of going down to the catwalk to uh, pull the last heavy down there. All right, now we got three meds and two bows. I'm going to move that bow, kind of prepare my inventory. Um, we've got a whole bow left, so we should be good with that. I'm going to go ahead and call the heavies and get it started. If you think that the regular scientists are hard, you need to proceed with extreme caution with the heavies come. They are a lot harder. There's two versions of heavies. One has a shotgun, which is uh, the most Papega scientist. He's worse than the regular blue scientist, okay? The regular blue scientists are stronger than him. But the other version of heavy has an M2. And he will rip you up, man. So until you identify what type it is that you pulled and aggroed, you need to play it like everyone's an M2. So, you know, you know, bad guys, you know, watch explosions. We're not a bad guy, we're a noob, so we're gonna run down here and wait for one to walk across our aggro spot. So we're basically waiting one to walk past this stairwell, see us and aggro onto us. That way hopefully we only pull one at a time. If you pull multiple, you probably need to go ahead and hop in the water. Be careful when you hop in the water to not hit the and die. Oh, that kind of hurt. All right, it's a shotgun, so that's like the least of my worries. I'm just gonna stand here and beat his ass slowly. Uh oh. If he was pushing me, I would have pulled up a regular bow there just to hit him again. Hopefully you can see how bad this guy is, right? This thing is no threat. Where'd he go? He's kind of a threat now that he got that close. He's chasing me, full start. Okay, we didn't get a gun, but we did get two meds, which is really good. So I, let, I played that a little disrespectful for the heavy. And, um, 
that was probably not the way you should play it. Because if you miss one of those bow shots, you might die, you know? I play that kind of bad. I don't hear a scientist. So I'm going to come up and try to aggro one. Check behind here. We're good. If I just face check the M2, I'd probably be dead. Oh, man. I think I pulled two. Fuck. I think I pulled two. I might be in trouble. Okay, that's too many for me to deal with. I'm jumping on this. And I'm jumping off. When you jump in the water, swim down. Because they can still shoot you if you're in the water. And then we're swimming to our boat. And we hop on our boat. They should have pathed down and be holding kind of like a... Kind of at level 1 in the corner. Closest to us. And we can shoot them with the compound boat from here. Yep, there they go. Standing right there. Alright, we're going to heal up. And start taking some shots. We're a little bit close. He can still shoot us from here. So I'm going to kind of stand at the tippy of my boat as far away as I can and start doing some damage it's kind of a hard spot because the uh, the pole is right in the middle just kind of kind of figure out where you can hit him got him okay he's not moving last time I did this on this server they were running back up when I shot him it looks like they're full glitch right here so you can use this strat to cheese the heavies and not take damage. Well, not take as much damage as well. Oh my god, I'm missing a lot. We only have 14 arrows. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. We need to chill out. Fuck, I can't miss anymore. We did not bring enough arrows. Like, I'm hitting nothing but headshots, and you see how many arrows this takes, right? So, if you're a little bit less skilled with the compound bow, maybe you're newer to the game, bring more arrows. I uh, sure didn't bring enough. Okay, we've got six shots left. It might be enough. Now, one scientist kind of ran back up. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to re-aggro him by swimming under. Actually, I'm going to heal up a little bit before we do that. I feel like I'm a little bit low. So, when I swim down like this, the scientist is going to try to run and shoot me. I think I re aggroed him just by going close to that. Keep in mind, he can't kill you in the water. Oh, there he is. I think he's done shooting now. Alright. Healing back up. So, out of the 420 cloth we brought, we're down to 200. Okay. And it went really well in the beginning. I can't stress that enough. Alright. Now, let's see if we can get a couple more headshots. This is the exact reason you don't use your boat to go to oil and you kind of leave it out here in the water so that you can use the boat to do damage, also heal from afar. And hopefully one of those heavies gives us a gun, but we'll definitely get all our arrows back. And since we dealt with two scientists, there are four left. Just kind of keep that in mind. You can't heal on this ladder, so, you know, crank it to help you with our security system okay we got a molly we can use that we got a lot of arrows back I mean look how many arrows it takes to kill these guys man bring more arrows than I did uh, I kind of goofed on that part and more meds okay we're cool we could do this oh we killed another so we killed three actually we've killed three so far there's only three left saw me again. oh god man I keep pulling double M2s now we can see where they're going Oh, it looks like one died right there. 
I don't see any of them more pathing. So I'm gonna try to pull them again. I'd like to pull them all the way down. We killed one, we have seven arrows left, so I think we'll be okay. Let's see. I hear this foot up, so I'm gonna dip. Swimming straight down. And then out to the boat. Nice, we got him out here again. That's so good. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. All right, just to make sure we don't like screw up at the end, we have one more scientist left at the top, right? We have one doc scientist, and we're gonna heal to max, and we're gonna be okay. I'm not gonna go over there and check him. I'm gonna stand by my stairwell. I don't know what that guy's plan was, but hey, hey, I'll take it, okay? All right. And he didn't give us jack shit either, but that's fine. We finished. Woo! Okay, that's all heavies. Maybe some food here for us. Perfect. All right. Now let's check the crate, see what the crate loot is. It's a 15 minute timer from when you call it. Definitely been 15 minutes. Hey, we got the bolty. And I mean, we got a mask too. I mean, we'll take that. We'll take that. All right, really quickly, I want to talk about a couple of things. Kind of add to the end of the heavies. Let's see what the uh, this gave us as well. Ah, nice. Cool. Um, all right. Really talk about, I'm gonna talk about counters really quick. Well, let's talk about spawns first and then we'll talk about counters. Um, the spawns for rig from blue worm out, heavy crate, shinny crate, elite crate right here, right? A crate normally spawns right here. And then if you do have a fuse, this door will open to give you two more milli crates right here and here, okay? Barrels spawn here, they spawn over there. Barrels spawn here. And then another milli crate right here, right? And then some barrel spawn right here as well, okay? Turning this way towards green, you have the crates that spawn in the green room. A milli crate can spawn in here, but you need a green card to access. And on the other side of the green room, you have a few crates as well. A milli crate can spawn right here. A couple of barrels, a crate can spawn right here. And a crate can spawn right here. Nice, more crate. You've got one box spawn, which is right here. Hopefully you saw that earlier. You've got barrels right here. And then right here, you'll have a barrel spawn as well. Onto the back side of L2, you can find another couple of barrels. Food crate sometimes spawns right here. It's pretty rare. Barrel, barrel, and that's it. There is a barrel on the L1 show you that right quick just to be complete and then let's talk about counters barrels can spawn right here now i'm sorry this is dark but we're going to talk through counters anyway because i think it's an important part i'm doing this on a zero pop server right so i'm not really worried about counters but you should always be worried about counters if you're on a rig because you're probably not on a zero pop server so the most common type of counter is the swimmer or the boat right they're going to try to pull up and that's why we left this scientist alive this scientist gives you complete uh, alarm warning system of any divers trying to sneak up on you or any boats coming up, anything like that. This guy will shoot and let you know, okay? You just got to listen out for him. Um, depending on where you're at in the rig and what you're doing at that time, like if you've got a heavy hot on your ass and it's an M2, you probably just need to jump, right? Because you're not going to have time to fight the heavy and fight the guy that's coming on. You're probably going to die. That's the worst time to be pushed. Um, it's a tough situation, right? But let's say we've done all the heavies and we're just chilling up on the top floor and we hear that guy shoot, okay? You need to immediately start running down and where you're at dictates where you can play. If you're really, really late, you can hold like up on this stairwell, right? And you can hold through here. I don't really like this spot. If you can be a little bit faster on the trigger, you can get right here and hold here like with a shotgun or something, that's pretty nice. If you can though, this is a much better spot if you have time to get right here before they get up. This right here is a really good spot. This is the only way you can get up to L2. You have to take that stairwell. There is no other way, right? It's a really good spot to defend counters from right here. Um, now, since you have a compound bow, 
you are probably going to be fighting counters with guns dbs things like that so if you can't get a really good shot or damage trade right here i suggest you just jump off and leave now next type of counter is the heli counter okay the heli counter is much less frequent but like way more dangerous and most of the time they're gonna land on heli pad now if you have a compound bow you need to just run straight up run like there's no point in even fighting it i'll be honest with you it doesn't really matter so you know if you have a gun it makes sense to kind of stand up here this is my favorite position to hold if i think if i'm waiting for heli counters like if i'm doing rig with a gun and i'm kitted i'm gonna stand right here pretty much the whole time okay helis come i beam them if i hear somebody from the dock i can run and kind of make it in time for a good position but i'm way less scared of the boat counter than i am the heli counter the heli counter is way more dangerous because pretty much the guy highest on rig wins next type of counter is the sub counter now this is a lot less frequent but way more deadly especially if you're using a boat to leave most people drive their boats right up to the dock and they leave them right there and when people finish rig they jump up on their from their they jump up on their boat and try to leave the submarine emerges and shoots on the torpedo gets all their loot for free okay if you have a problem with a sub like now that we're done with the rig we can just this guy well i hope i can okay normally people will leave like this since your boat's out there you can just swim you can jump off the heli and swim to home or you can jump off right here and swim but if you've got a submarine in the area you know if you're worried about that the best solution i have for you is to jump off helipad and swim way away from this dock this is where submarines ca uh, camp the most because their splash damage of the torpedo will blow up the boat and pretty much everything else so anything around here is going to be destroyed and they get all the loot for free it's really hard to deal with so if your boat's up on the dock what you can do is you can hop on your boat really quick start it up and then hop back on the dock and see if he emerges and kind of gives away his position if you're like not sure if there's a sub but if you know there's a sub for sure i suggest you just jump off the back of rig and swim away the best way to dodge a submarine is to get as low as you possibly can and swim at the bottom of the ocean all the way back to a safe zone or your base something like that also, if you jump from this side of rig, it's very unlikely that the sub will notice that you jumped. Okay? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you think of anything that I missed, leave it in the comments below to help other people out. You know, I'm not perfect. Maybe you thought of something I never would have thought of, and you can you say something. Leave it in the comments because, you know, if people want to know more, they'll read the comments and kind of get even more information. Leave some hints and tips for other people if you can. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Well, you know, now bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.